When working with objects in AutoCAD, you need to select items that are already there. This is going to happen all the time. And there are many different ways to make sure you're picking the exact objects that you want to select. So before we get started though, let's open up a file that has some objects in it that we can actually select. Let's go to the folder for this project chapter and open up the mechanical example imperial drawing file. Now this is just a simple 2D drawing. It has three different views of a flywheel. You can see what it looks like from the top, from the front, and then from the side. In fact, the top and the side are almost identical. Now there are many different ways to select objects inside AutoCAD. Now, when you're using an editing command, let's say like the move, press return, and you are prompted here to select objects. Now it's asking you to select the objects that you want to move. Now they aren't listed here, but there are several different options for you to choose from when selecting an object or objects. Now, one method that's very straightforward is just to pick the objects. So if I want to move this entire view here, all I have to do is just zoom in and left click on the objects that I want to select. When you move your mouse over an object, it will be highlighted like this. And then when I left click on it, that object will be selected. So if I execute the move command right now, I'm only going to move this line and this line. So I can just keep picking all of my objects. And as you can see, I'm eventually going to get there. Now this can be very tedious. Now the pick method is very tedious when you need to select a lot of different objects, especially if there are a lot of small objects. A better way of selecting multiple objects is to use a selection window. But however, the pick option is perfect when you only want to move one thing. So the other two methods that we can use are a window selection or a crossing selection. And now there's a new selection mode in here also called a polygon select option. So let's look at the crossing windows first. I'm going to escape out of this command so we can start it brand new. And this time I'm going to use the copy command. So start the word copy, type it in C-O-P-Y, and then press enter. Now we've started the copy command. And you can see the dynamic input prompt by my cursor here says select objects as well as on the command line. It says select objects. Now to do a crossing window, it's very simple. Left click somewhere in your drawing area that's not an object. So just in this open space area, left click, move your mouse to the left and down. Now you can see here, everything is getting highlighted as I use this crossing window selection. That's what it's called. So when you select a point, move to the left and or down, this creates a crossing selection window. Everything this window passes through will be selected. You can see the very top part right up there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. These items there at the top that are still red are not being selected, so they're not highlighted. So if I want to pass through something, I don't have to have this entire line selected inside my window, just part of it. Anything my window here crosses through will be selected. Left click again and all of those items are picked. See, that's quite simple, very easy. Much easier than clicking on each one of these one at a time. I'm going to escape out of there. I'm going to start the copy command again. Type in copy, press enter. Now I want to show you a selection window. Selection window works exactly the same way as a crossing selection window, only in the opposite direction. So if I left click and I move to the right and I can move up or down. The main key here is to get to the selection window is to move left and a crossing window is to move right. Now the difference between the selection and crossing is the selection, everything it passes through is picked. Now on a selection window, it only selects things that are completely inside that window. So you can see here I'm picking this entire view except for that middle center line because part of it is not inside my window. It's not selected. If I press return, pick a base point, just left click anywhere, move to the right, left click again, press return, and I've copied that view. So it's very simple, very easy to do. And I can always start my selection before I start my command, or I can do it after. Now there's another selection option that you have here. Let's say I want to copy just these circles out, this center line and all the other center lines, and then the main shaft here for my flywheel. That's fine, I'm going to type in the word copy to start my copy command, press enter. And when I do my crossing windows, you select 
an open space somewhere and you let go of the button and you drag left or you drag right. You can press your left mouse click button again. That'll end that selection. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click and hold. I'm not going to let go of it. I'm still holding it down and I'm moving my mouse. Everywhere I move my mouse creates a selection window, but it's like a polygon here. It's a weird amoeba shape and it's only going to get the items that I select inside there. And I let go, and just those items are selected. Press return, pick a point, zoom out, and there, press return, right click, and press enter to cancel out of there. So you can see here, I have these different options. I have the rectangular crossing window and selection window, and then I have the polygon shape that I can use just by left clicking and holding. So these are very useful tools and they're very helpful and they're very quick to use. Now sometimes you want to select objects before you start the command and that's perfectly fine. There's really nothing wrong with that. As I showed you before with these, I started the copy command and then I picked all my objects. Well, I can pick all my objects right now and now type in the copy command, press return, and everything is already selected. It's gone through the selection process for me already. I just need to select by left clicking my displacement point and I can keep copying these all that I want to. So whichever method you want to use is perfectly fine. I've found that I've just gotten into the habit of selecting things first and then I've picked everything. Now one advantage that you do have by starting the command first, copy, and let's say I just pick all of these objects. Now, before I press enter to finish the copy command, let's say, oh, wait a minute, I didn't mean to pick these objects. That's okay. Press down the shift key and then select everything again. This is a deselection or an unselect option. I can come in and I can just pick the individual objects if I want to get rid of them, or I can use a crossing selection. I can use my polygon shape again. Holding down the shift key while you select objects will remove them from your selection set. Let go of the shift key, press return, and you can go on. 